Today I'm very quickly going to show you how to make bread like you would get at Jimmy John's. Uh, why Jimmy John's? Because I really like their subs. This bread is pretty similar to what you'd get at other sh sub shops too, like Subway and other places like that, but I specifically formulated this particular recipe to be as close to Jimmy John's as possible and to be doable in a home kitchen. Before I start, I should say that I don't have any secret knowledge of Jimmy John's. Uh, nobody gave me a recipe or ingredients or formula or anything. The only thing I did was go there and eat their subs a few times and uh, keep my eyes open to what they were doing. And uh, the only real useful information I got out of that is what kind of bread it is and uh, the cooking temperature for the bread and the proofing temperature. Jimmy John says that their bread is actually French bread and I kind of disagree with that just a little bit on a couple points. What you're going for in your bread is a texture with a nice soft crust, not a real thick um, hearty crust like you would get on actual French bread. And then the crumb uh, is not like actual French bread either. It's more of a, it's more like Wonder Bread on the Jimmy John's bread. It's got that nice open pour structure to it and it's, uh, it's a lot different from most of the authentic French bread recipes that I've made. Another way that it's different is that there's oil in the Jimmy John's bread uh, and I can tell that just by um, the, the texture and a bunch of other things about the bread. So a couple of the differences between this bread that I'm making and uh, real French bread is the addition of oil and the addition of baking soda to get those real small fine little air bubbles like you would get in something like Wonder Bread. So I'll just start with the dough preparation real quick. You add one package of yeast to your mixer, then you add a cup of water, a tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of powdered milk, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of soybean oil or vegetable oil, and then finally about three cups of flour, and you're gonna adjust that later. Using the dough hook, you'll beat the dough together until it is combined well and then you'll let it rest five minutes. The next step is the actual kneading of the dough. For this you'll do uh, two minutes on the setting four on a KitchenAid mixer followed by a seven minute rest followed by an additional three minutes on four. The dough consistency you're going for is a nice soft elastic dough that is a little bit sticky and still sticks to the sides just a little bit. If it's too wet, and in other words, it's a big goopy mess, then add a little bit more flour. If it's too dry and it doesn't stick to the bowl at all, then go ahead and add a little bit of water. Now one of the things I learned from uh, going to Jimmy John's is their proofing uh, rack temperature. And at the Jimmy John's that I went to, it was 113 degrees. So to kind of duplicate that, what I did was just heated my oven up just a little bit and then uh, you take your dough and cover it in a bowl and put it in there to double in size. It takes about an hour. Once your dough is doubled in size, take it out of your little proofing oven there. Divide your dough ball into uh, three different balls and the next thing to do is roll them out. and. You want to roll them so that they're about as big as uh, your thumb and uh, index finger, about like that. Transfer them to a cookie sheet that's been lined with parchment paper and cover them with some saran wrap that has been sprayed real quickly with some spray oil. They'll go back into your little proofing oven for about a half an hour. That's about how long it takes for them to double in size. Then you take them out and you set them on the counter and you want to preheat your oven to 390 degrees. Why 390? Because the Jimmy John's I visited had their temperature between 388 and 394 degrees on all of their ovens. Once your oven is well preheated, put the pan with the dough into the oven on the middle rack. Mine baked in this instance about 16 minutes. You're just going for a nice brown color of the crust. You don't want it to get too dark and too hard. My oven is a convection oven so your baking time and may vary a little bit. Once they're done, take them out of the oven and set them on a cooling rack to cool. 